Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Alright guys, we got the Galaxy Note 2 and we're going to start to do some of our tests on it. So, uh, let's start off with the good old fashioned benchmark test. So, first let's go into Quadrant and see how this one scores. Actually, I just remembered. First, let's clear everything. And all. And clear the RAM. And then we'll test it out. Now I just got this one in, so uh, let me know what videos you want to see on it. And we'll just check out the system information, just so you guys can see. I don't even have to zoom in that much because the screen is just very clear. Um, so, all right, so you can see the processor, of course, inside of it with uh, how fast it can go as well as the OS that's on here. And let's check out the graphics. There is the resolution and there is the pro there is the graphics card. And let's go ahead and run our full benchmark test. Already going pretty quick as you would expect from a quad core processor. RAM went even quicker. And it is just going right through these test guys. So you guys can see the frames per second. And one thing I'll tell you, I've done a lot of these tests and this screen is just really nice. That new uh, RGB matrix uh, with uh, amyloid is just the best that it gets. And there we go. I think that was the quickest quadrant I've ever seen. And as you can see, it is well above uh, the HTC One X and the Prime. Scoring at... Sorry guys. 55-29, so a uh, really good score. But you know, uh, as I've said before, Quadrant doesn't always test the best for quad-core processors. Generally we see different results when it comes to other uh, to dual cores comparing to quad-cores. So let's take a look, just clear everything again. Clear memory. And let's check out Intuitu. And we'll go to test and start test. And let's see how well this quad core does on this CPU test and then on the memory test. So right away I'm noticing a little bit of a difference just between these speeds. Uh, the other one I felt was going a lot quicker uh, just because of the dual core obviously the two cores are still moving really fast. This one's not going bad, it's actually still going quicker. Um, if you've seen a lot of the benchmark tests you've definitely seen a difference in speeds comparing to this device and other ones. So it's going pretty good. And still you just checking out the CPU first. And it looks like it's coming up towards the end of the CPU and then we should see more memory performance. And the graphics. And just trying to make sure you guys can see the frames per second as soon as they pop up. And of course the bouncing androids that we all love.
I forget, they actually do a pretty good job of making the frames per second a lot bigger, so you can see it. Interesting, it hasn't gotten to 60 yet. Nope, didn't get to 60. And now just looking at the SD card, write and read speed. All right, so that is the score. Let's zoom in so you guys can see the exact number. 13,492 overall. CPU looks really good, and RAM, of course, is to be expected to be really good. And let's check out the scores. So it did score five stars overall. And we'll submit this. And take a look at how it scored. Alright, so as we can see, it did score higher compared to the Galaxy S3. And even though it notices this is a Galaxy Note 2, it is showing that it's slightly below the average of the Note 2 in terms of speed. And right below the 1X+, Plus, which the Note 2 is still, of course, the reigning champion on here. Um, until probably, I would say, the... Um, the of course the Nexus 10 comes out is that one supposed to be a benchmark even higher but really good um, as you can see I mean the fact that this is faster than the Asus Transformer Prime I would say says a lot um, as well as of course faster than the Galaxy S3 so really good in terms of overall processing and very well done alright guys this was the benchmark test for the Galaxy Note 2 if you have any questions, feel free to ask. This is R-I-C-K-Y, The Android Guy.